Do you think that it would bless people if I shared who am I with them? The little poem I wrote to the Lord a long time ago. I have to tell you, Lynn, that when I read that poem, I said, I mean, I was thinking to myself, you need to read that in the, in the tour, on the bus, in the conference, and now you're offering to read it here. Well, I think you should read it here, and you should read it also in Israel, in the footprints of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus. And I think it'll bless many people. And in fact, I think you need to stand in Jerusalem and read it where all the non-believer Jews can hear it, and they'll come to you and say, that's a beautiful poem. And we can tell them it's about Yeshua. Oh, I would love to because I have I have this deep passion and love for the Lord. I sat down and I was in tears, not a sad, bad kind of teary, but a, just a this overwhelming love and acknowledgement of who he is and who I am. And so I want to share this with all of you because I think that it's going to bless you too. And I just want you to humble yourself as you hear it. This is a love poem to Yeshua. So I'm going to go ahead and read it now. I wrote it back in 2012, but it's still the same today to me. Your name is Elohai Elohim. There is none like you throughout all the earth. For you are all in all. You are everything. The wind does not blow against your will. The rain does not fall away from your face. Nothing is hidden from your sight. I will not lie down to rest without first seeking your blessing and asking, have I pleased you, Lord? What if I slumber and there was something I did not do? When I awake, my lips shall give you praise, for it is by your mercy that breath enters and exits my nostrils. It is by your kindness that my heart continues beating, and so it shall beat for none other than you, Adonai. My eyes behold the beauty in your brush strokes, the heavens painted with shades of sapphire, the vast array of colors gently detailed throughout all of the earth, and the sight of a newborn baby. Your artwork can be witnessed everywhere. Lord, I am nothing before you, but a pile of earth and dust, brought out of clay, dirt, and water, mixed together into mud. And it was your hands that sculpted my form and made me who I am. I am unique and different, for I possess my own intricate puzzle, the code man has called DNA. My name is written upon your palm, and you have held me near when I was rejected. You have gathered me together when I was scattered in the wilderness. Carefully, your fingers knit me together and made me better than I was. You have reached out before my enemies when they laughed and mocked and scorned, and you have made a spectacle of them as you held me on high. I am forever your humble servant. Please do with me as you will. I am honored to be your child, and I am brought low before your throne. Who are you? I am Elohim, Adonai, El Shaddai, Yahweh, Alpha, Omega, Beginning, End, Lord of Lords, King of Kings. Who am I? I am one small gust of air from within your lungs, a speck of debris on the tip of your finger. I am nothing, but in you I am so much. I am yours. I am a child of the King of Kings and a servant of the Lord of Lords, forever rejoicing. I am all yours. Amen. 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 Beautiful. Praise Yeshua. Praise Yeshua.